Australia's federal government announced last month that it plans to ban younger teenagers from using social media in response to concerns about bullying, predatory grooming, and physical and mental health. If successfully rolled out, it would be the world's first age-based ban targeting internet platforms. However, the proposed ban has received backlash from many young Australians, like Kyoko, who says the ban would actually make life harder for them and isolate them further. Yeah, so being autistic, I have a really, really hard time connecting with others. And be, you know, doing that online makes it a lot easier. Being online, you're able to connect with other people with the same interests, get experiences. Teens like Kyoko represent what experts say is a blind spot in the plan by Australia's government to set an age minimum for social media websites. As an age block would mean cutting off support for teens in minority groups like the neurodivergent community. Surveys show that some 97% of Australian teenagers use social media across an average of four platforms. That makes them among the world's most connected young people. 16-year-old Laura Seaton has mixed feelings about the proposed ban. Like you said before, the communication. Yeah. People feel like they can be more confident on social media because you're behind a screen. But that also means that bully, bullies can be confident. Yeah. And that's not a good thing. They can just go, hey, you're ugly, and not feel anything because it's a text. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's, yes. <laughs> like you can just comment easily and be like, you're not very pretty, are you? You know, stuff like that. Nearly two-thirds of parents of teenagers in the country reported concerns about their children's social media use according to a 2024 survey by Youth Service Reach Out. But Justine Humphrey, a senior lecturer in digital cultures at the University of Sydney, says a ban is not the best way to go. Young people themselves are not in favor of a ban. Humphrey says an age-based ban ignores other important factors that determine online experiences for young people. So even though the age is really fundamentally important that we need to get right, what we're talking about when we say we're going to introduce a ban by age is that it negates the fact that young people have very, very different levels of maturity depending on their age and their backgrounds, and also whether they occupy that younger or older teenage group. In September, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said his centre-left government would run an age verification trial before introducing the laws by the end of this year. While no lower age limit has been proposed, officials have suggested between 14 and 16.